Hello and welcome to Long Island Weather Report. End of month, we're going to talk about the October in, in review, as well as the weekend weather and uh, the heat again. Record-breaking heat again today, and it actually felt worse than yesterday because there was no sea breeze at all, uh, and it was in the 70s well into the evening, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, first, looking at our climate report for Iceland. Yep, a record high of 80 degrees set today, breaking the old record of 77 set back in 1982. Normal high is supposed to be 59, so we're 21 degrees above normal for the high, and actually 22 degrees above normal for the day. Uh, yeah, 22 degrees above normal uh, for November 1st. Uh, pretty crazy stuff, and I think, let's see if, the, let's see, I think a lot of the sites broke records. Central Park did not, LaGuardia, um, LaGuardia did not, JFK broke their record, high of 82, Breaking the old record of, of 80. Um, Ridgeport, I think, also. Yep, 81. Broke the old record of 71. Man, smashed it by 10 degrees. How about that? Uh, and let's see Newark. Newark did not have a record. So it seems like the sites along the coast had records today. Their record's being broken. No sea breeze at all. Killer west wind today. Uh, we just baked. We just baked. Uh, without, without a doubt, uh, we really did bake. Uh, so uh, we're going to go over the month in review today, uh, and uh, then we'll go back to the map here. Uh, so let's go look at our uh, monthly weather summary for Islip. Hopefully it's up, and uh, here we go. So no surprise, folks. The average high for October on Islip was 69.1. The normal 64.1. That means we were 5 degrees above normal for the average high. That's pretty substantial. However, because of cooling off at night, because we had dry nights, dry air, the average minimum of 47.6 was actually pretty close to the normal 47.3, so only 0.3 degrees above normal there. That gives us a mean of 58.4, and uh, the normal is supposed to be 55.7, so that puts us 2.7 degrees above normal. Now, the other thing, the record minimum precipitation, and I'm pretty sure it's an all-time record uh, that was broken. Of course, the Weather Service not really talking about it, but only 0.12 inches of rain for Islip in the month of October. That is a record low. All right? uh, normally, we're supposed to see 3.97 inches of rain. Uh, so that is pretty insane there. And I believe that is an all-time, all-time record. Uh, but nothing mentioned from the Weather Service if you look at their um, social media um, and, you know, they really downplay the climate crisis. They really do. Everybody wants to... All right, here we go. Maybe we do have a climate card here that they put here. Let's see if we can put that on the screen here. So this is the climate card here uh, for... Uh, if we want to go over this at a glance here. Uh, everybody was above normal. Everybody. Islip, LaGuardia. Kennedy was 3.9 degrees above normal. Central Park, 3 degrees above normal. And driest, all, all these sites, driest on record. Yep. It says driest October on record. I think it's the driest month on record. Um, why does it just say driest October on record? I think it's the driest month on record. Um, I think all the sites are the driest month on record. So um, I don't know why they just say it just says driest October, which, again, goes to show you. I think they just want to downplay it. Uh, it is the driest month on record, uh, and all the sites recorded this. Uh, so if we look at uh, Central Park, uh, your uh, climate statistics for Central Park, again, uh, high was 4.2 degrees above normal. Uh, the low was 1.7 degrees above normal, 3 degrees above normal for the month, well above normal, very warm. And again, 0.01 inches of rain for at Central Park. That's a record, driest month on record, driest month on record. So all these, I don't know why they don't say it. No, it's not just the driest October on record. It's the driest month on record. Almost every single site had their driest month on record. JFK, only .01. Uh, Newark, Trace. Um, and that's also a record. So uh, record driest month on record. So um, not sure why the... Um, Upton office just wants to minimize climate change, but let's see if Philadelphia is talking about some of this stuff instead. Let's see. Uh, they are talking about the wildfires. Okay, here we go. So uh, they're talking about the ha Halloween records being broken, um, but not nothing about. All right, here we go. 
So here's from Philadelphia here. Uh, so here we go. Uh, these are all normal October records. Driest October run record. Almost broken at every single site. Pretty much every single site. Driest October on record. Uh, at least they're talking about it. Driest month on record. I'm not sure. Driest month on record, I meant to say. So let's see. All these sites. Allentown, driest month on record. Atlantic City, driest month on record. Uh, there's two Atlantic City sites. There's, uh, there's, the, 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 that's the new one, but the old one actually wasn't broken. Georgetown, that was a record. Uh, Mount Pocono, driest month on record. Philadelphia, trace of rain in Philadelphia for the entire month of October. Driest month on record. Trenton, trace, driest month on record. So they're talking about the driest month on record, but... Why not Upton? I don't understand it. I, I really hope they're not drinking the orange man juice over there, but sometimes I got to wonder, you know. I don't know why they would drink it, because he wants to get rid of Noah. But anyway, um, I just don't understand. That's just my explanation. I, I don't, they, they should be, this is a big deal. October is the driest month ever, ever at all our climate sites. That's a big deal. Uh, so it is official, all right? It is definitely official. And uh, Newark, uh, Newark, of course, Jersey being the warmest, having the biggest temperature anomaly. Six degrees above normal for the high, four degrees above normal on the mean. So a very warm, dry month here. And Trace, oh, I see Trace, T, and then they got the R there. Uh, but it is the driest month on record um, at all our climate sites. Uh, this is unbelievable. Meanwhile, air, other areas are getting excessive rain and flooding, of course, but not... This is because the jet stream is all out of whack. So um, this is pretty crazy stuff. Um, go to record of, let's see, if we go to record event report, let's see. Um, they're not going to really list that. But the, yeah, driest month on record. That's a big deal. I don't know why Upton is not mentioning this at all in their social media at all. Because they certainly should be. Snow squall. Why do they post that? That's like the furthest thing from anyone's mind right now. So, I don't understand. Anyway, let's go to the map here and talk about what I've got going on out there right now. Still mild. Temperatures are dropping into the 60s, finally. 63 at Islip. But it was a very warm day today. Um, highs got up to 81. Actually, it's showing 81 at Islip now for a high. 81. 81. Low 80s in a lot of parts of Long Island. Uh, maybe out east, yet a few more clouds. So, yeah, there's some reason they were in the mid-70s. But everybody, pretty much around 80 degrees, either side of 80 degrees. And uh, not much, 79 in Tom's Row, it's actually a little cooler in Tom's Row with that killer west wind. There's not going to be any difference between Jersey and here. You know that. Looking at lows, somehow West Hampton got down to 54, but everybody had lows pretty much in the low 60s. A very warm night. Somehow, again, Pine Barrens west of Tom's River got down to 55. Uh, but uh, 61 now at Islip. So uh, let's show you what the day was like at Islip, and we'll show you just how it stayed into the 70s. The temperature did not drop below 70 until 8 o'clock, pretty much. That's crazy. And look at how long it stayed warm. I mean, right into the evening, we're in the upper 70s, 5 o'clock. I mean, with that northwest to west wind, you can see the wind gusts. Not quite as crazy as uh, I feared. We still had some fr a strong wind gusts around uh, 2 o'clock here, gusts to 31. Um, so some pr luckily no big wildfires on Long Island. However, there are some in New Jersey. However, I don't really see anything on the side. I don't see any big smoke plumes. So they say they're pretty big, but obviously if I don't see a smoke plume, then, but we're not out of the woods yet. That wind is still going and it's still dry and we're not going to be out of the woods until we get some rain. All right. Uh, and you can see these wind gusts here. So the potential for wildfires, they already dropped the red flag warning. I don't know why. I think we're going to, we might need it through tomorrow, but whatever. This is what they've got. So uh, let's look at the models now, and we've got most of the HRRR, and obviously no rain. Why am I even going to, there's not going to be any rain. You can see no rain. Got the high pressure overhead. Uh, looking at your weekend here. Uh, dew points drop tonight. Points out. We've got the north winds tomorrow. Uh, not quite as strong. There'll be a breeze. Bre Breezy, breezy conditions, but still, with two points this low in the 30s and a north wind and everything's so dried out, still the potential for some wildfires, in my opinion, through, for tomorrow. Uh, and then, yeah, this is only going to go out until, um, until, um, until,
until uh, what should we call it until uh, Saturday night tomorrow. I I think because the models underestimated the warmth tomorrow, I think we still have a chance of getting to the low 60s tomorrow. We still wind up being above normal for the high, perhaps at or at or slightly above normal for tomorrow. Temperatures do drop tomorrow night. We will drop into the 30s. It's going to be a chilly night tomorrow night, which is going to feel nice after today. Uh, but of course, this back and forth is not good for people. Uh, it's hard for people to adjust. Um, and looking into Sunday here, you got the northeast it, winds become east. Uh, and um, I don't think we're going to see any radiational cooling tonight as far as temperatures go. I mean, I, I don't think uh, we're going to see any of that. Uh, but you can see here, uh, we, look at these dew points. Very low, very dry air on Sunday overhead uh, with a, still a light northeast wind. And Sunday will probably wind up being the coolest day uh, with upper 50s on Long Island, probably if you're in Jersey, low 60s. But, uh, yeah, this is uh we have. Uh, I don't think it's going to wind up dropping that much on Saturday morning. You might get lucky in the upper 40s, but again, with that wind, I don't think we're going to see any radiational cooling. Skies um, should have mostly sunny skies through most of the day. It looks like there may be some clouds to the south that will try to move by. And then Sunday, we may have to worry about high clouds moving in. But tomorrow, I think we should be the better of the two days, I think, at this point. However, that's what the GFS things seems to think. The RGM a little uh, more optimistic for Sunday. This is the R gem, not showing much in the way of high clouds, but a little bit there, and that little bit there could be some scattered jet junk around for your Sunday. Um, perhaps there'll be plenty of sunshine, but there could be some, you know, cirrus and jet junk mixed in, possibly, possibly. Um, if we go to the GFS and look at, the, uh, we can do the soundings and see. Let's see, if we can do that. The soundings for. Uh, do a sounding for the F. Let's see if there's, I think, yeah, these lines are pretty close together, which indicates a lot of upper level moisture. If we look at tomorrow, um, they're pretty far apart, fairly far apart, not as far as apart as I'd like, but uh, I can look at the HRRR as well with this and see what they have for tomorrow. We should be pretty good. Yeah, well, tomorrow should be pretty decent, I think. I think, I think tomorrow should probably, at least they'll have the nicer sky, I think, even though it'll be a little bit more on the breezy side. Um, hopefully, maybe we can get two sunny days without any jet junk. I mean, we have a lot of sunny days. I was like, two days of that with clear skies and out. That jet junk, you know how much I hate the jet junk. Uh, too many planes in the sky, but that's a whole another, another environmental issue that we've got to address that I've spoken about before, like I said, I've told you before, I think we need to have half the amount of planes uh, that we have in the sky. We need to cut that amount by half. Too many. Uh, it's not good for the planet. Can't sustain it. Um, but anyway, um, I think that's going to almost wrap things up. So enjoy the weekend. Um, and uh, this is what I just took some pictures this evening. Uh, the sun's the dusk here in Belmore. What if you... Uh, long exposure, you can see the traffic here and the uh, train coming and the sunset there. And you can see there's a plane. There's always planes in the sky. There's way too many planes. We've got to do something about this. Uh, and um, later on at Rockville Center by the lake here, um, you can see the lake's pretty low too. This is a night photo, but you can also see here's the Big Dipper. You can see the Big Dipper there. What a nice, uh, nice if we had those Aurora Borealis Northern Lights back, but unfortunately, the sun's quiet. We had a fl flare yesterday, but it missed the Earth, unfortunately. So we didn't really get any Northern Lights. So hopefully we'll have more opportunities for that. Uh, but anyway, I think that's going to wrap things up again. Worried about the fire danger tomorrow as well. Uh, it won't be as much. It's still there. You know, it's still there. So, um, but... As far as wildfires go, um, I can look at the modus and see if we see anything on the modus. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, you can see these are the clouds yeah, clearing from west to east, but I don't really see any smoke plumes here. I know there's a fire in rock. I can't even see it. They say it's a big fire, but I don't see a lot of smoke from it. So it can't be that, uh, it can't be that big. Um... Yeah, I don't see any smoke from it. So it's a miracle that we haven't had any really big wildfires in our area. It really is a miracle. Uh, somebody's looking over us, but I know our luck's going to run out eventually. So 
I'm scared of it. it's going to become like California with the wildfires. It's a miracle that hasn't happened. It's just a miracle. Um, but uh, if it stays dry like this, um, we're going to be in the same boat. I know it, especially if the winter is dry. And La Nina winters tend to be on the dry side, too, because we're in a La Nina uh, Pacific pattern there. So uh, that's going to wrap it up. Good night. No weather update tomorrow night. Enjoy the weekend. We'll be back on Sunday night.